Hey everybody, I'm Zorkraft and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be drawing uh, Swords of Darkness or a sword. Or two swords, I don't know. But we're going to be trying to draw a sword of darkness. And darkness is the theme in, it, in this one, of course. Most of my uh, my drawings are a little dark. That's you know that's how I draw. I love them skulls. I have to say, it. but we're gonna be trying to draw a sword, not just a regular sword. It's you know nice straight sword. You know that's it looks awesome, but that's so plain. It's you know it's plain to me. So we're gonna be drawing something different, and uh, and I have these are old drawings I have about sword and I cut off a piece of mine which I can't show it to you because um, I put it up on tape on the side of a wall here so I can uh, have some uh, <clears throat> some uh, detail on how I want it drawn but these are draw drawings of swords I did and they were dark and I'm basically gonna be drawing a new one Hopefully it matches. I'm gonna be using the one I cut off for just for a, you know for detail to see because I really like the hilt on the one I cut off, so I'm probably gonna use a hilt and probably just redrew it, redraw part of it, and then try to imagine the rest. So you know, here we go. This video is just gonna be the outline basically of the sword and it's it's just gonna be the beginning I'm not gonna get done of it get nothing done just the outline of it and after that then I'm gonna go ahead and do the full drawing and time lapse it and uh, you know hopefully I'll be done with it in two days I hope if not one day that'll be great if I don't have nothing else to do but you know time is precious so here we go all right first of all to draw a sword the way I do it is I kind of start not in the top not in the bottom because I want the hilt to be in the bottom you know the hilt uh, the handle at the bottom and uh, the tip on the top so and in either way, I mean, you can just turn the picture around and have the sword pointed either way. So, let's see. Alright, let's start it. Let's start it off right, right here. Let's see. This is going to go. Right, basically, we're trying to be different here because it's a it's a sword, and we don't want to be a normal. It, it <clears throat> we don't want it to be just a normal sword. So we have to be creative in our shapes and basically you know go crazy because if we don't you know what's the point it's just another little sword drawing and uh, you know there's nothing much we can do about it so Here we go. Here we're gonna be drawing the the the, the hilt of it, the, the handle. Right. I want the handle, the hilt over here. I could have gone. I think I went a little bit too far. It, yeah, it looks like. So we're gonna go back, erase it. Gotta get careful. Better be careful with those 
ran into edges, erasing, you crimple up the peeper, and you pretty much mess it up. So, okay, I'll go a little bit there, and I'll go there, and then I'll go down, straight down. bottom of it we want it to be uh, kind of looking like a bone to achieve that you just try to cross it like that there you go we'll do a little I'll probably come back and fix it because that kind of doesn't look good but for now we're just trying to just trying to make it out, trying to see how how the shape's gonna be. <clears throat> Obviously, you guys, if you've seen my videos, I have drawn basically the side of everything, you know, a whole picture here, and then come back and erase it all because it just didn't match a certain area that I, you know, didn't like. So this might change later. So. Keep in mind in my uh, when I time lapse it, it'll probably I'm I'm pretty much gonna probably change some of it, <laughs> if not everything. So, cause something didn't uh, I didn't like something. So okay, we have that. And forgive me, I'm <clears throat> my voice is not normal right now. I'm, I think I'm I'm getting a little bit sick here. But uh, let's see where are we? Okay, we got the handle, the hilt. There you go. Hmm. Yeah, let's leave that. That can be that, that can be a little hook as you you know stab the demon or whatnot and then if he comes around you can stab him with the hook. You know? I'm trying to role play here guys <laughs> forgive me role playing with my with my drawing <clears throat> all right let's see let's just go up let's go up a little right there and then curve it back in now i want to make a little kind of serrated serrated look here so i'm probably like the Batman Batman symbol hmm. hmm should I put a skull here with the, the serrated teeth yeah but that's not gonna look good if I put the skull it's gonna be sideways hmm but since this is steel of course this is bothering me here, right? Here. The flow of it is bothering me a little bit. Let's see. Let's erase it. Let's make it a little shorter right there. Nice. There you go. Hmm. Hmm. All right. It's um. I want the skull to look like it's steel, like it's 
like just mold it in not sculpt it in I'm just gonna try to do it like a tribal kind of a way because I really want this to look like it's steel so To, when you also when you're drawing try not to press down a lot right now it looks like I'm pressing down but not much it's just enough to make the line the drawing so you can see it so let's see there you go hmm. since we have this kind of over here have this shape coming down over here over here oval hmm why not go with it let's see oh yes yes that's good oh man see see how that worked out guys look at that look at that now I want to make the same but not really I want let's make the other put another horn here but let's make it let's if we're gonna do that let's make it kind of kind of attached to it going to be the inside line of the horn so we can do that again There you go. 
different, but good. It matches. It's. It looks like it's in there. almost went into my maze drawing of you know dots there i was gonna try to make a maze another line i was like whoa stop 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 okay so uh, we got that that how about okay since we did that how about we just do a, a little right there there you go since we have this over here that wanted to be a chick bone but it didn't ultimately become a cheek bone we can hunt when I just have it go up like that a little bit oh no that doesn't match at all no that doesn't match the drawing alright let's go back Erase. Let's just let's just leave it like that. Let's pretend it goes up. There we go. Let's just pretend it goes like that. There you go. Now since now we have that. Read it side here. So it's coming up pretty good. I may have done this the hilt a little bit too close to the edge of the paper here. Here, let me turn the uh, the mic. The, there you go, a little bit. The, the camera may have done it a little bit to the right to the edge but it's uh, it's okay well we'll f I'll fix it I'll fix it. I usually fix stuff that is real close to the edge now we got our skull here now why not have something else why, let, why not have see here at this point I want to put more stuff. I want to put, like, say, another a sword going through the skull and coming out. But if I do that, that's gonna start, you know, cluttering the whole drawing inside. You know what I mean? I like my drawings to see, so you can see some of the, the the inner parts, some of the the whiteness of it. That's why I, I don't shade most of my drawings all of all of my drawings because i've gotten a lot a lot of uh you see how the shading is there a little bit let's see right there right there but yet you can you can see kind of what's going on you know what i mean if i put more shading here in the white areas you know it'll kind of look good better but it kind of takes away that You know the detail that uh, what the what the drawing will look like. So, but hmm, let's see. Let's let's try it. Okay, I'm gonna go real careful here, straight up. Pretend it's halfway in right there, and then we're gonna make another hilt for it for the sword that supposedly. And then we're gonna go out in and then the oh. and then the hilt for it is gonna for the handle gonna go up up hmm. 
let's have it like yeah let's have it like a jade or something it comes down there you go let's have the, the, the hilt of it go out up like that and then in and then it's coming down and then just stop it right there yeah we can do that let's try that Since we can do that, why not make the sword, instead of a straight blade, let's be different. Let's go, let's go with the curve, all the way curved in, and then right there. And then down here, we can have it, let's see. disguises how thick the blade is so because I want there you go hmm. now that's not gonna look good erase it it was gonna be too cluttered so in this one, let's see, That's this is not really looking good to my eye, so I'm going to erase it. Alright, but how? Alright, before I go on, let me see. How do I want the side? Alright, that goes, let's see, yeah, let's go down. Because having that little drip down, I mean, that's going to be meaningless. Because if in, in, uh, say you hit a monster with it, that little dip is really not going to do anything. It's better to stab the side of it and slash it down and, and then, you know, gut it with this one. So, we're just going to have it like another... just going to make a regular little handle here just just to keep my <coughs> eye entertained now let's see with the rest of the skull I mean the, the sword okay that looks good Have, since that's sticking out, let's go ahead and go straight towards. There you go. Out. There you go. Now, it's obvious. 
obviously that I want the sword to go narrow, narrow, narrow into a tip. You know, so we're going to have a little curve here and a little let's start making there you go, right there. jumped at me, the hilt, the handle of the sword. Why not just take that away? Take that away. Instead of uh, having an actual handle, why not just have it go up? All the way up. Like the inner core. Like it separates a double-bladed sword. You know? What's that word called? It separates a uh, double-bladed double-bladed sword I, I forgot what it's called I, I knew it to this one right here now I want I want it to look it, like it's thick like the sword is thick but it since this is just the 2d drawing what we can do is curve this a little bit I kind of may I missed it up there it kind of looks awful let's see raise it a little bit more Let's see right there and then have there you go so a line like that you see now it kind of looks like it's thick just by a simple line like that and it looks like it's thick a little bit now let's see
sins. Now we're gonna do the other side it down. So we're gonna go ahead and just make a noble shape there, like that. Come out. Look at that. See? No, it doesn't look quite like a sword, but it's okay. We're just want it, it to look kind of but since we have the outline of the sword now you can see we can now turn into a, how are we going to use this sword in practical terms in fighting okay we obviously have two hooks here Now, sword itself, look, it's going to look heavy. Now, for that, we can go back down here and let's say, let's erase this and have this, how it's coming out. How it originally went out like a, another, uh, you know, that you can stab with it. Why not make that into another handle? where you can actually grab it and you know use it like a nax or something cold down and use these two these two uh, horns right there and for for just in case I have a little horn coming out like that for our protection <laughs> you know what I mean let's see how is that gonna look that looks a little bit too that looks a little bit offsetting up too much let's, see, let's go erase it again let's go right about right here There you go. There you go. We can, we can now grab. Let's. Of course, it's real small, but we can say we can hand grab the bottom. Or just in case, you know, we're fighting, we can actually grab it and handle the whole weight like that. You know what I mean? And so far, there it is, guys. There's our sword, sword of darkness. You can see, we can, we're gonna, well, I'm gonna call it. All right, I don't wanna go, I'm, I'm starting to just draw more stuff. But, all right, we're gonna, I'm pro it's probably gonna be changed. <clears throat> I'm probably gonna, of course, make some changes. 
but I basically want you want the, you know the person that had seen it actually see a sword you know so I'm probably not gonna go as much detail in the sword but on the background though the background here all this white I'm probably gonna go you know I'm probably gonna put ribs maze like sculptures or something all right because it is uh, or maybe a, a, a throne of ribs coming out like that you know maybe I'll do something like that I don't know but expect this to change all right we have the sword of darkness guys and uh, you know hopefully in two days I'll have it done if not, hopefully if I don't have nothing to do and uh, you know come back and see the time-lapse uh, video for it if you like this uh, so far this video uh, give me a thumbs give me a thumbs and a sub would be awesome guys okay all right, I'll see you in the next time. Later.